Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to do the 2016 KCC Longitudes and Latitude question, which was in number 21. We are told that a tourist took 1 hour 20 minutes to travel by aircraft from town T to town U. Then we are told to take the radius of the other 63, 70 kilometers and pi is 22 out of 7. Part A to find the average speed of the aircraft. Now that we've been given the time these tourists took, then we can find the distance between towns T and U so that we may know the distance traveled. Then using the time taken, which is given in the question, then we will be able to know the speed. Therefore, I can first of all locate the two places, assuming that this is the globe the sphere of the earth we are seeing that t is three degrees in the south three degrees south and 35 to the east so this one is 35 to the east this is where we have our town t then again we have another town u nine in the north nine degrees north nine north and 35 east so the same longitude this is where we will get our town u therefore now we can see from t to u is along a longitude or rather along a great circle therefore part a we are finding distance along a great circle and distance is given by theta out of 360 to pi r therefore we're going to use angle difference from three degrees south to nine degrees in the north we have an angle difference an angle difference of 12 degrees we're going to add therefore if we consider this one as the earth's surface then we have the axis of the earth here so from the center of the earth we have three degrees to south so that you may find where t is and nine degrees nine degrees to the north so that you may locate town u therefore the angle difference between those two towns is simply nine plus three which is twelve out of three sixty two pi and the radius is sixty three seventy radius of the earth therefore i'm going to compute this one in the calc whereby i use twelve over three sixty two 22 over 7 then multiplied by 6370 and this will give us a distance of 1334 and 2 out of 3 kilometers so if this is the distance then the time taken is 1 hour and 20 minutes so we can change 20 minutes to hours by dividing it with 60 so that we get one and a third hours one and a third hours which is four out of three hours therefore for us now to get speed because we are told to find speed then speed will be distance out of time and this one will be solved by taking the distance of 13 34 and two thirds and we divide with four out of three so when we divide this one with four over three then we are going to get exactly 101 1001 sorry kilometers per hour therefore this is the exact speed of this aircraft then after getting speed we got part b of the question which say after staying at town u for 30 minutes the tourist took a second aircraft to v and v is nine degrees north five to the east find the average or the average speed of the second aircraft was 90 percent that of the first aircraft determine the time to the nearest minute the aircraft took to travel from u to t therefore we can get the distance from u to v and we have said u is 35 east and 9 in the north 
and now we are having another town another town which is v and it is 9 to the north but 9 but 5 degrees to the east therefore it is closer to prime meridian so this is where we are going to get our v remember u was 35 but now we have another place which is 5 to the east therefore angle difference from 35 degrees east to 5 degrees east is 30 degrees therefore we're going to get again distance part b distance which is calculated by because it is along a small circle it will be theta over 360 2 pi r then cosine of the latitude where the two places are therefore the theta we have said it is 30 degrees that is from 35 east to 5 degrees east Nego difference of 30 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r cosine of the two places are on the common latitude of 9 degrees in the north therefore cosine of 9 therefore we're going to have 30 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6370 multiplied by the cosine of 9 so this is going to give us a distance of 3295.6 kilometers to one decimal place now that we have distance we can get speed for the new speed speed of this second aircraft which we are being told its speed is 90 percent the speed or the average speed of the second aircraft was 90 percent that of the first therefore the speed is going to be 90 percent of the first aircraft which was having 1001 therefore 90 percent 90 percent of 1001 kilometers per hour so that for us to get the time taken because we are told to find time determine the time taken time the time the time it took then we are going to get distance out of speed a distance of 3295.6 then we divide by 90 percent of 1001 therefore when we compute this one we are going to get divided by 90 percent which is 0 0.9 multiplied by 1001 Therefore, we're going to get three hours, then the minutes are going to be 39 minutes. Three hours, 39 minutes. That is the time the second aircraft is going to take. Then finally, we have a part C which says that uh, <clears throat> when the journey started at T, the local time was seven hours. Or 0700 hours. Find the local time at V when the tourist arrived. Therefore, we can see that at T, time was 0700. Then now these aircrafts are taking time. We have one hour, 20 minutes. Then after arriving at U, we are told it rested for 30 minutes, so we have 30 minutes. Then now it is further taking 3 hours and 3 hours and 39 minutes to arrive at V. Therefore, we can get the total time taken by adding up time taken. We have 1 hour 20, 30 minutes. Then we also have 3 hours 39. So we're going to get, this is 50, 89 minutes. Which means we will carry 1 hour and remain with 29 minutes here. 1 hour carried, we get 5 hours 29 minutes as the total time taken. Now, before we add the time to 7 hours, to 7 hours, we are supposed to question ourselves something. There is a longitude difference between t and v because t and u are on the same longitude they have the same time but there will be a time difference between v and u 
Therefore, the time difference, because V is behind in time. When it was 7 a.m. at T, it was a different time at V. Therefore, we are going to say 1 degree gives us a time difference of 4 minutes. What about the 30 minutes, the 30 degrees difference in longitude? So we're going to get 30 times 4, which gives us 120 minutes. And 120 minutes is strictly 2 hours. Therefore, if it was 7 a.m. at T, when this aircraft or this tourist was starting his journey, then by the time it was 7 a.m. here, it was 2 hours late at V because we can see T is further to the east than V. Therefore, the initial time when it was 7 at T, it was 0500 hours. Therefore, we're going to take first of all 0700 and we subtract 2 hours so that we may say 0500 hours. Therefore, it was 0500 hours at V when the aircraft was starting. Therefore, now we are going to add the time taken. The time taken, which is 5 hours, 29 minutes. And this is going to give 10, 29 hours. Or rather, 10, 29 a.m. the same day. This is the time the aircraft is going to arrive at V. Because V is behind in time. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.